When you start your way as a video editor, it's not immediately obvious which program to choose. Immediately jump into advanced software or maybe start with something simpler and only then switch to advanced. Or is there some universal solution where you can start and edit for years? My name is Arthur Weiner, this is the Mobavi Vlog, and today we'll show you video editors that are relevant in 2022. Let's start off with an app called Lightworks. This is a light editing program. It starts up quickly. The preview and editing in general goes pretty smoothly. This program is suitable for fairly simple editing and basic effects, but despite the fact that you get a set of professional editing tools, some features are sometimes missing. This can be both bad news for you and good news because it directly depends on the work you do. Maybe you need something simpler and you don't need all these extra features. From the interesting points, there is also quite flexible tools for color correction. In the free version, you will not be able to export videos in all formats and set the resolution above 720p. The pro version has many formats and resolutions, but the basic functionality is exactly the same. All this makes Lightworks a good option for all beginners. However, I wouldn't stay in this program for long, it's okay to start, but then most likely you'll want to switch to something else. As a bonus, check out Shotcut, which is very similar to Lightworks. This app is absolutely free, it has no pro versions or anything like that. However, compared to Lightworks, making animations here is somewhat easier. You get free classic color wheels and other color correction tools. The program is very light and I didn't find any stability issues, however, Shotcut doesn't support 4K videos very well. Like Lightworks, it's a good option to start with, but not more than that. Let's move on to the next app, which is Movavi Video Editor Plus. It's also well suited for beginners who don't need super fancy editing features, but want to quickly and simply edit a good video. If you are a long-term subscriber, then of course you are well familiar with the Movavi editor, but let's go through the main features once again. Here is a simple and intuitive interface for essentially every user who is not familiar with the editing process. Creativity in this app is available to everyone. Upload your footage to this window, then drag them one by one to the timeline. The most interesting part starts in the panel on the left. There are several sections here, filters, transitions, titles, stickers, and additional tools. There are a lot of different templates in each section which will help speed up and improve your editing process. If you want more, there is the Movavi Effects Store where you will find even more useful stuff. And if you want to make the most out of this app and be guaranteed to have customer support and all the updates, I recommend you check out paid video editing apps. The good news is there is a lot of affordable ones. For example, Movavi Unlimited that's available on the Movavi secret sale at 85% off. Movavi Unlimited is the unique annual plan that includes the best from Movavi in one intuitive platform. There are tools for video editing, photo retouching, screen recording apps, and a set of utilities for work and study. On top of this, Movavi Unlimited gives you one year access to all the effects that the Movavi Effects Store has to offer. And you won't lose much time on learning. Every step of the creation process from converting raw footage to adding effects to your video project might be done in just a few clicks. Movavi Unlimited will help you create high quality content and make your ideas come true. Unlike professional software, Movavi Unlimited is accessible for many users. Its annual subscription plan includes 10 programs and a huge collection of effects at the price of just one app. And the best thing is that you won't need a top-of-the-line computer to make the platform run smoothly. The one-year subscription to Movavi Unlimited is now available at 85% off on the exclusive Movavi sale. Hit the link below to use this or any other special offer from our secret page. Additional tools include more flexible color correction, image stabilization, simple animation, chroma key, and many other basic features. You can export videos in many different formats, including instant upload to some social media, 
In particular, if you're just starting out as an editor, then the Movavi features will definitely be enough. Third place goes to HitFilm Express, quite a popular app for video editing as well, and the interface of this program is very similar to Premiere Pro. I would even say that it felt like I was really editing in Premiere, you know, such a simpler version of Premiere. If you are afraid to jump into Premiere right away, then you can start editing here quite confidently, because you can get used to it much faster. I didn't even have to study much, animations work the same way here. Roughly like in Premiere, you can also soften the keyframes and even change the type of animations in the editor. And I like that by default there is a motion blur feature. Similar to Premiere's panel with tools, you can draw masks and animate them. And there is even motion tracking. This is exactly what Premiere can't do. So far it's only possible in After Effects. I noticed that while playing 4K video, it starts lagging a bit, which is definitely not related to the hardware of my computer. So if you edit a video with a resolution higher than full HD, then HitFilm starts to slow down the workflow a little. In general, this app is suitable for both beginners and professionals, but I would advise beginners to start editing here only if you plan to grow as an editor. It has all the basic and non-basic features, but it's pretty easy to get used to, so go for it. And of course, Adobe Premiere Pro. This is one of the best apps for professional editing. Some full-length blockbusters were edited in this program. This is a good choice for those who have a basic knowledge of filmmaking and who want to create content at a professional level. The reason for the popularity of this app is quite clear. There are many opportunities for non-linear editing, which is constantly used in feature films. A huge ecosystem of various tools and features that open up a very large flexibility of the process. You will have access to functions that will help you do more than just a quick fun edit. Flexible color adjustments, flexible sound adjustments and more. You can use various combinations of effects and features to make exactly the result that you imagined in your head. Of course there are also many transitions here. The interface looks clean and minimalistic, largely because of features that are hidden behind hotkeys. However, you can add buttons to the panels and move them wherever you want. Perhaps this is one of the most advanced editing programs. It's not easy to use, but when you learn it, you will feel invincible. This is a cool advanced program, but only for those who are already confident in their abilities and want to study editing in all technical detail. So if you are sure that you want to move in this direction, then start learning editing right here. And an app that is now actively competing with Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve. And this is probably one of the best free video editing apps. They also have a paid version, which includes more advanced features. But if you're editing a small film or music video, then most likely the basic features will be quite enough for you. The paid version includes more effects, templates, and the ability to edit 120 frames per second in 4K. There are a lot of features here, but it might be difficult to navigate through the interface. In the case of Adobe, you need to download several apps for certain tasks. You need editing, then download Premiere. You need sound processing, download Audition, Effects, After Effects. But in DaVinci, everything is in one program, which is very convenient. At first glance, from a beginner's point of view, the interface resembles a scientific laboratory with a lot of buttons and strange stuff, and it's not immediately clear why all these features are needed. Despite the fact that the application looks confusing, there is a good design and everything looks professional. You'll probably spend a few sleepless nights while you study this program, but in the end, it's worth it. The interface itself is divided into six sections. Media, where you import and sort out your footage. Cut, here you can make a quick cut. Timeline, here you build the whole project. Fusion, 2D and 3D video effects. Of course, color, a lot of possibilities for color correction, Fairlight is an alternative of Adobe Audition, working with audio, and Deliver where you export your project. DaVinci also supports 8K videos. If you are a beginner 
it's unlikely that you have a camera that shoots 8K, but at least you know that it's possible here. However, if you plan to edit videos only for YouTube or short videos for social media, then I would not recommend starting with this program because it's very confusing and learning how to edit here will take you a lot of time. Still, if you are seriously dived into video production and want to build your career on it, then even if you are starting out, I recommend you to allocate time for editing training in this program. Given a universal advice, try different programs anyway. It's not necessary to dive into each one deeply, but at least try to edit one short video in each app and see where you feel more comfortable. As a result, after a couple of weeks, decide on the program that fits best into your workflow. For example, it's often faster and easier for me to open Movavi because I often make videos on YouTube and there's enough functionality for this type of work. But if you plan on shooting films, then you will need more advanced features. So pick the right app for yourself and check out this video and this one to learn even more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.